This project is literally one of the greatest projects that I've ever made. It's so much fun to ride this electric skateboard. I told you in my last video that I want to replace those crappy LiPo batteries. I also use those batteries to develop my Arduino-based drone and I probably discharge them a lot more than I should a lot of times. That's why I want to replace them with my DIY 18650 pack. I already started making this thing, so let me show you what I have. Here is my battery pack made out of 18 batteries and that's together about 6000 mAh. It's pretty decent for electric skateboard. That's 6S pack, so the maximum voltage of this thing is 25.2 volts. There is also a BMS for managing the batteries and charging them properly. You need to connect this BMS to each cell and then to the wall battery. There is also the charging port and XT60 connector. This BMS can output max of 15 amps. That's of course too low for our electric skateboard. So I connected the XT60 connector directly to the battery, so there is no connection between BMS and this XT60 connector. And because of that we don't have the protection from the BMS, but fortunately this control board for electric skateboard has the protection for the batteries, so there is no problem with that. I also bought special charger with output of 25.2 volts, it's perfect for charging those batteries. And also I need a slightly bigger box. This is the old box, this is the new box. I don't need a flap because I don't need to take out those batteries. Uh, the bottom part is basically the same, it's just slightly longer. Thanks to Amazing Fusion 360 I didn't have to redesign this thing completely from scratch. I just changed the dimensions and here is the new box. About 12 hours of printing time, so that's quite a lot. We don't have the flap right here, so it's a little bit simpler. Also it will be a little bit differently attached to the longboard but it perfectly fit the batteries in here. We just have to attach this control board to this box, then attach the box to the skateboard and we'll go out to test it. batteries than it was with LiPos but it's still really not that heavy it works really well it's fast I mean for me it's fast because I'm not really good at skateboarding or rockboarding so even the speed of 25 km per hour is, is quite decent for me it's so much fun so let's do the range test but because testing it again at the Tesco parking isn't really that much fun let's move to a better place this is much better we are right now in a small village about 100 km from where I live it's quiet here, there is almost no one around, roads are almost always empty, so this is a perfect place to test this electric skateboard, we'll test the max speed, the max range and I will show you around the village. Let's go!
Going down the hill is really scary because brakes are not that great but it's not terrible and you can definitely climb the hill easily. Let's do a small break here and let's see how how far I am. So I traveled four kilometers, not that bad, really fun still. Even those steep hills weren't a problem, even this downhill weren't a problem for the brakes, but brakes are really not that great, so be careful. And let's check the battery monitor. As you can see, it still shows the battery is full. I'm not sure how accurate this measurement is, uh, but it has the protection for over discharging the batteries. So I think those batteries are safe. And right now we are at the old brickyard factory. They used to make bricks right there. Uh, but this is a very old building. It's close to collapsing totally, so we cannot get in. So let's move on. There is a little bit of shadow, let's stop here for a second. I think I'm already about 8 kilometers. Yeah, almost 9 kilometers into this test because I got a little bit more comfortable with riding the skateboard. It feels a little bit like snowboarding to me. The battery level, 75% full. Not that bad, we have still plenty of range. So yeah, let's stop right there for a second because there is shadow. They used to have small shops somewhere here. I don't have a water with me. So yeah, shop would be useful. I will keep going, maybe somewhere there will be a shop. So yeah, let's let's do a let's do a quick break now. I will put a new post on Patreon and we'll keep going. That's it. There is no more battery left in the skateboard. The battery level monitor shows just one stripe and when you want to ride it, it just shut down the motor so the battery level protection works really well. I made 15 kilometers, really not that bad, on a flat ground because there were quite a lot of step hills. On a flat ground it would be closer to 20 probably, so the range is quite decent and I should also mention that I used not new batteries in this electric skateboard. I found online someone that sells the batteries from old laptop batteries and those batteries are quite nice because they are really well protected in the laptop batteries and they are a lot cheaper than new 18650. For new batteries for this project I would have to pay about $100 and for those batteries I pay just $30, so it's really worth to try those out. If you would like to build your own electric skateboard, check out my previous video on this topic. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. If you would like to support my work, there is a link to Patreon in the description. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye. Oh, and yeah, I still have about 2 kilometers more to get back to the home and I don't have any battery, so it will take a while for me.